Check out great deals throughout the store at Safeway. This week at Safeway, get mega packs of USDA Choice Boneless Beef Chuck Roast for $3.97 per pound with digital coupon limit two packages. Plus, Hass Avocados are 10 for $10 member price. And get Fuji Apples for just $0.77 cents per pound with digital coupon. Also this week at Safeway, get selected varieties of Lucerne Milk Gallons for the member price of $3.99 each when you buy two. Visit Safeway.com or head into your local store for more deals. J360 Radio. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by JM Brady. I am your host, JM Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, guys? New week. <laughs> you know, I still don't believe that it's Tuesday. Oh, yeah, it's most definitely Tuesday, because if not, y'all would have told me about 209 not landing on Wednesday. So, yeah, it's definitely Tuesday. How are you guys doing? This is J-Man, of course. And um, in case you ain't realize, it is Jamiversary again. Yep, it's back on. Yeah, I know. I took, um, I had to go away for two days to go do a sporting event. And I'll let you guys know it was, it was endurance. But I'm telling you this, only because of the heat. Like that heat wave went through there. And dare I say, you could have put honey on me because I was glazed like a ham, boy. (laughs) I was baked and not in a good way. Uh, speaking of which, while I'm saying that and all, I hope Delaware passes that legalization, uh, thing. You know, like, like I say, one way or another, it's all about context and how you use it, but, you know. <laughs> but, nah, as I do respect that lifestyle, let me just go ahead and bring it back to, um, what I'm saying about today. It was really, really hot out there, man. I mean, but I had my umbrella and I had my hat and... You know, plenty of water, so I was good. But I'll tell you one thing, though. Some of the games were kind of boring, but a lot of them were interesting. So, one way or another, I didn't skip a beat on anything during those two events. But it's just nothing like coming back home and doing, like, Gemiversary for you guys. Because, hey, this month is all about the music. And, yes, we're all going to be enjoying ourselves this, w- this week, too. This ain't no different than last week. Matter of fact, well, it is a little bit, because it's not Jams Week, actually. It's Hangouts Week. But this Hangouts that's coming up, though, oh, you guys are going to be in for a real treat. That guest is just phenomenal. And not to mention the music she made. So, yes. And, and that's a little hint for you, too. We're not necessarily staying stateside for this one. We're traveling all the way to Eastern Europe to meet this particular individual. Yup. ZXSP will finally step into her role as the guest of the next J360 Hangouts. And I wish people would quit sending me crap when I'm trying to do the show. <laughs> ah, nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I've actually gotten quite used to it. I just, um, once again, I'm like, you know what? Can I at least get this sentence out? That's what I always try to do. But yes, ZXSP is finally landing on Hangouts. And I've been meaning to get her on an interview and speaking to her, get to know her. And then, you know... You know, one way or another, this is great because it's like I get to know everybody in the jam fam and then we all speak on that level, you know, and I can do that really on um on Clubhouse. I finally got my Clubhouse um key codes. It took forever to get them, but yeah, it's on it's on Android and now I'm finally on Clubhouse. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it, though, because I do enough on Discord and then I do enough um here on Spreaker. I do enough on Hell, I just do enough in general, if you think about it. And it's only a matter of time before I go ahead and I work out J360 TV to the point where, yeah. (laughs) And who's to say that I didn't? Because today wasn't a loose ends day. Today was an R&D kind of day. And uh, you'd be surprised what um, results I've made. So, But you guys will find that out in another time. But like I said, Jamiversary continues. Got a pretty big week ahead. Not only do you have the mini bites tonight where I go ahead and I talk about certain things that happen but then you also have the j-man show 209 which by the way shout out to all of you that voted you went ahead and you really helped um help shape the episode out because the episode is actually going to be a top 20 yeah it's not a top 10 it's a top 20 and it is under the code name jams history 2 so i wonder who made the cut and you know what as it is my show i do know but i will not tell you yet you will be surprised who is on that list. And not only that, 20 of awesome 20 awesome tracks, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now, 
a lot of people have been asking me what does the what does jams look like right now well with, with 25 being such an epic hit and all and you know we have this uh bye week ahead of us right now i want to say that yeah jams 26 is actually open for submissions yep it sure enough is. I've been very low key about it because you know I didn't want any of y'all being like, "Oh, do I have to hurry up? Do I have to get them in and all that kind of stuff?" I mean, you know, you can submit early. I mean, like right now, this is your month. If you are a independent musician of any kind and you're interested, email me at j360productions at outlook com and we'll talk. I mean, the criteria is two tracks and a link, and then that link could either be a YouTube, could be a Bandcamp, could be a SoundCloud. As long as it helps you and it represents you well. You have a shot, and then you just follow through. And then, of course, you know that jams that is on, you know, depending on, like, the, the let's see, depending on the day or the week, usually, you know, that is your debut, and I will help push you along the way as best I can. And see, like I said, this is a month-long celebration, a month-long event that has been, been in the back of my mind, planning it out. <laughs> so as we're going through this, and this is the first every year of me doing this kind of thing, yeah, it's um, it's been pretty smooth so far, and I really enjoy it. Not to mention that all the shows are involved, and then of course, Song of the Night is back as a feature. Uh, limited capacity, by the way, but who knows? As things keep going, and you know, as things progress, it might stay on as for like the rest of the year. But you know, it's just one way or another easing back into things, and it feels good to re- be writing reports again. Now, another thing is a lot of you guys have been releasing albums out there, and as you have been releasing albums, I can go ahead and extend the album of the week list, which is really nice. Usually it's like the top three, but hell, I'll go for fours, fives, six, you name it. Hell, you never know, we might get that ten. Wouldn't that be wild if we did? Ah, yes. And then for those of you that have released albums, and I've been meaning to follow up on this, I just, um... I've been busy with a bunch of other things, but I know that I have this uh, feature right here, ready and waiting to go, and it's called the Album Spotlight, and some of you have made EPs, some of you have made um, LPs, it it really doesn't matter as long as it best represents you, and when I get to it, I'm going to go ahead and knock it all out, (laughs) because I think everybody's about due for an Album Spotlight, I think so, but hey, this is y'all event. So, not in addition to mine, I mean, I got my own week coming up, like, God, it's June now, so soon enough it'll be October again, so, I got my own week coming up, All Hail J-Man week is like the last week of uh, October, so, you know, things like that, <laughs> and that's right there with the Monster Fest, too, which is gonna be a big thing, I'm right here working on that as well, I'm just trying to gather all the movies I can, because we're gonna have some fun with that, and since Discord is being pretty open about things, you never know. Maybe you guys can actually engage with me on a few things. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going through Twitch to do it because didn't Twitch get at um, WWE uh, Superstar Page for like um, <laughs> showcasing some movies that she wasn't allowed to? And you would think, considering that Amazon and Twitch are the same team, that they would make it easier to go about that. So until they get their stuff together, we're not doing that. But speaking of Twitch, though, I have been looking into another extension for jams so i've been working on a lot of jam stuff right now and i love it because like you know jams is doing very well jman show is doing very well hell even the mini bites are actually holding on and then hangouts came on strong so all the j360 radio shows are doing great and then as for the power play a lot of people ask me about the power play will the power play get an event like similar to jams it's possible i mean i just once again it's all about timing and, you know, I could go ahead and ease into it for about a week, or I could go ahead and, like, give, like, a certain percentage of it's due. You know what I'm saying? Like, half a week or something. It, it just really depends on timing, and I'll get to it when I get to it, you know? Now, to say that I didn't take your considerations into mind, because I do have a notebook where I write stuff down. On uh, Yeah, if it's that important, you should always write stuff down. And speaking of which, as for this top 20, this top 20 is going to be looking stacked, baby, stacked. (laughs) And there's going to be some people on there that you didn't even know made an appearance on Jams. So, like, that's why it's called Jams History. Everybody's getting their due in this event. And if I haven't 
brought you on or, you know, you haven't spoken up yet, well, you know, now's the time to really do it. Yeah. <laughs> but so far, so good. I remember somebody sending me something about 10-minute ballots. I'm thinking that could be a thing. So we shall see. It's an experimental month. Why not? A lot of stuff going on in this phone, man. Jesus. I might have to start turning this off when I do the shows. <laughs> it ain't that damn important. What do I care about a Trump rally? I don't. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are actually enjoying my um, crazy behavior tonight. It's funny, though, because uh, it seems like I got so many things going on, and I do. But it's all going to even out, especially by this week. And then, actually, for the anniversary week, the real, real anniversary week, where we get to, like, June 25th, June 27th and all, hmm, been thinking, because June 25th is the Friday this year, so, yeah, huh. Well, you know what? I ain't got to tell you guys yet. Matter of fact, let that sit right there in your mind. I'm not a tease, but at the same time, I'm not giving that away. (laughs) <laughs> oh no you're gonna wait for that one trust me trust me and and truth be told guess what look anytime i have a surprise for you it usually works out in a big fashion come on you gotta allow me that one you know it's true you know it's true and i'll take care of you it's what i do you know of course now speaking of which i'm gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and tie this one up so i will see you guys Tomorrow at 10, yes, we are doing the J-Man Show live. And, you know, the link is Spreaker.com slash show slash the J-Man Show. And we're going to be doing that one live, and it's all about the music. I won't be doing too much commentary on the public right now because, you know, things are starting to open up. And I want more of a positive flavor for you guys because we're just all easing back into uh, the state of abnormalcy. I'm not going to say normalcy because, (laughs) no. But abnormalcy, you know what I mean? The abnormalcy that you guys can handle, we're easing back into it. So, yeah. And then once everything starts to get crazy again, well, you know what I mean, the other crazy, then we can talk about it. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I haven't really been going after the government and all that kind of stuff right now. (laughs) Or or what Hollywood does. Because, like, you know, I, I want you guys to, we all need a break, right? So, let's let the music carry us away, ride the waves, and flow into other great things other than worrying about, like, you know, our average problem. Other than that, though, uh, I gotta get on out of here. I gotta go ahead and lay out a few more things for the next few weeks. And you guys will take it easy until then, because we'll meet up and we'll have one hell of a party. And then, of course, you know, like I said, the mini bite tonight... Then you got the J-Man Show 209 tomorrow. And then you have a Power Play episode happening right in the middle there. It's going to be a little different. It's more of a breathing room kind of kind of episode. And then I'll jump back into Bioshock 2. And then, of course, you have, let's see, the J360 Hangout with DXSP happening on Friday. And all shows happen at 10. Now, if you need a reminder of where the Power Play is, Power Play is on Twitch. So that's twitch.tv slash j360tv. And then some after a while, when I get some breathing room, it'll be up on YouTube. So that's tinyurl.com slash j360tv. Until I get about a few more subscribers, and then, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll throw the real YouTube link around to you guys. But until then, this is J-Man signing off. You guys take it easy for me, and we will catch up again later. All right? Peace. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.